I'm always delighted to be with Solomon News. This has been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. This is the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for March 15th, 2024. An article from the Washington Times states, it's time to kill the death tax. Families who lose a loved one must make funeral arrangements, settle an estate, and manage any outstanding personal or business debts. The last thing families need is an enormous tax bill known as the death tax from the federal government after a family death. Over 99% of our nation's 2 million farms and ranches and over 95% of our nation's small businesses are owned and operated by individuals and families. This means that nearly every farmer and small business owner, from Iowa to Florida, is impacted by this onerous tax. That's why Representative Kat Kamek and Representative Randy Feenstra recently introduced the Death Tax Repeal Act which would permanently repeal the death tax, which imposes an unfair and costly tax on the transfer of property, land, and other assets from a deceased family member to heirs of family farms and small businesses. In the U.S. House of Representatives, nearly 170 members have joined in this tax-cutting effort. 194 organizations, including the American Farm Bureau Federation, National Restaurant Association, National Federation of Independent Businesses and the Family Business Coalition have also supported the Death Tax Repeal Act. The 60 Plus Association strongly supports this legislation which kills the death tax, a fight that we have been engaged in for over three decades. The Hill reports, Trump cleans up remarks about cutting Social Security and Medicare. Former President Trump in a new interview sought to clarify comments from earlier in the week in which he said there are ways to go about cutting entitlement programs. President Trump told Breitbart News, quote, I will never do anything that will jeopardize or hurt Social Security or Medicare. We have to do it elsewhere, but we're not going to do anything to hurt these programs. There's so many things we can do there's so much cutting and so much waste in so many other areas, but I'll never do anything to hurt Social Security. Former President Trump has been adamant that Republicans should not touch Social Security or Medicare, a break from some primary rivals who argued steps needed to be taken, such as raising the retirement age, to ensure the programs are solvent for years to come. And finally, The Federalist reports, Michigan has more registered voters than eligible citizens in 53 counties. The Republican National Committee filed a lawsuit Wednesday against Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, alleging that the voter rolls of the state are inflated with ineligible voters. The suit claims that 53 of the state's 83 counties have more registered voters than they do residents who are eligible to vote. 23 other counties also allegedly have suspiciously high voter registration rates of 90% or more, which does not reflect the nationwide voter registration rate. A recent analysis of the voter rolls in Michigan found one of the voters who was still on the state's list at the time the lawsuit was filed was born in 1908 and died in 1990. That concludes the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for March 15th, 2024. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.